Hey guys, I am Afro Geek Plus Ultra Nappy and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, I figured I'd do something different once again. I have a huge stack, not a huge stack, but it's like a medium-ish stack of graphic novels and comic books. So I figured I'd show you guys my collection that I've had throughout the years and see what you guys think. So without further ado, let's jump in the video. Here goes the stack of my comic books. It's not big compared to some people I know or to some other collections I'm sure you guys have seen. This is just a collection of some things I got throughout the years. I've gotten at local stores here where I live. I've gotten at like Wizard World Comic Con. Yeah, just all over really. So I figured I'd just go down the list and just show you guys basically what it is. I'm gonna start with this one that I got from Wizard World Comic Con this year. And that is Spawn. I don't know exactly what issue. I think this is 61. I got this issue of Spawn for so this is $5 on the back. I got this, looks really cool. I don't wanna take it out. Cause you know, some comics I don't like to take out or touch or anything. Yeah, I'm def I definitely wanna read this cause I haven't gotten a chance to yet. But I mean, just look at the, just look at the artwork though. Like, look at that. It looks clutch. And I thought this was so cool cause I like Spawn. I was thinking about the whole thing with Jimmy Fox playing Spawn in the new movie that they're doing, the reboot that they're doing, and I'm just kind of like, oh, hell yeah. I kind of want to get back into Spawn. Plus, you know, with Soul Calibur 2, when I had that on the Xbox original, Spawn was always like my to-go-to character. All right, next one. I also got this one at Wizard World Comic Con this year, and that is Batman issue number 457. This one right here, Scarecrow's on the front. It's like Robin, too, and the artists and writers. It seems like it's Grant Bray Fogle, Bray Fogle, or Fogle. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And Mitchell. Um, I'm not really too good with artists and writers. There's only a small, small full, or just a small uh, amount of writers and artists I know that do comics and stuff, so. Here goes that one. Ooh, I'm hot. God damn. Hot as shit in this room. The next one I got a comic book shop. And this looks, and it's uh, by Johns, McCone, and Alquiza. And it's Teen Titans, The Revenge of Dr. Light comic book. I like Teen Titans. And I actually, I don't think I own any Teen Titan comic books. So I was kind of like, you know what? Yeah, I'll just get it because I like Teen Titans. Just to kind of just add, throw in the mix. So well, why not? Why not? Looks really cool because it looks like we got uh, Superboy, Beast Boy, Raven, Kid Flash, Cyborg. I'm guessing it's some sort of Lantern Jr. And I don't know who the other two would be. But if someone knows, leave them down in the comics if you've read uh, comics. In the comments if you've read it and you'll be able to tell me exactly who some of these characters are. Because there's two on here I don't know. This one is, I don't know if this is the first issue of the Avengers. It's Steve Englehart or Englehart and Bob Brown. I got this issue of Avengers. Some of the artwork in here, if you like want to take a quick look, like, uh, like some of the artwork is actually not that bad. Like, like seriously, it's really, it's really not that bad at all. Like it's actually really good. See, boom, boom, really good. You know, I like the Avengers. So I know this video is probably going to be like, dude, just stop, just stop. You're boring the hell out of me. Boring, boring. To be fair, I, I read comics as a kid, but I didn't read a whole lot to where I can sit here and really like, just be like, this writer does a fantastic job with this, this artist does, but because I was more of an anime, video game, TV kid. I also read like actual books, you know, like Harry Potter, Hunger Games, all that stuff. But then again, I like graphic novels. I read that, I read manga, so you know. All right, The Invaders, Battle Over Britain. So yeah. This one, I got this one too. Free clutch. Artwork be looking nice. Artwork be looking nice, you know. Looks like Roy Thomas and Frank Robbins. This one actually doesn't look that bad. When I went to Wizard the World Comic Con, I uh, ran into an artist. It was a guy who works at Y Comics. Um, the artists I can say are in the writers. Calb, Calum, Calum, Christ, uh, Christine, Rimalanti and Gartoni. I'm terrible with pronouncing names. Um, y Comics, that's a place in Seattle. This guy, the guy I met who made this comic book series here, really nice. He's very friendly. 
and I read the first few and I thought it was worth buying you know I bought four of them for like maybe 20 or so it was actually a really good series here he is it's called kinetic here goes the first volume he signed all of them too the second I'm pretty sure that more volumes are probably out than the ones that I have because I didn't buy every single one that he had there it goes this one and then this one volume four and I'll show you guys a little bit of the artwork inside so you can kind of see what I'm working with. Like, I have to go some of that there. I'll flip the page. Oh, Bill Cal Callum. He's the president of White Comics. So I'm, yeah. So there's that one. Here's a little bit more artwork. Now the artwork is pretty good. And this is like just some people that made, I'm pretty, not some people, but you know they're like one of those like independent comic book places and for them to make artwork that looks just as good and have an amazing story is just really good um if you guys want to check them out i mean if you want to check them out i can plug them real quick uh you can check them out at www.ycomics.net facebook.com slash ycomics.net and twitter at seattle underscore ycomics they're really good. They're, this is really good. Damn, how many Spider-Man comics do I have? Oh, I have a lot. Okay. <laughs> so I got this Spider-Man comic called Big Time by Slot, Case Lee, and, D and Delgado. Dust all over this. There's that one. You can't really see it because it's like, it's that one right there. I might be the f biting into him like that. God damn. This one dusty too? All right, so Spider-Verse Part 2, The Amazing Spider-Man featuring The Superior Spider-Man by Dan Slott, Oliver Capel, Wade Van Graw Badger, and Justin Posner. So it's this one right here. A couple of these Spider-Man ones I haven't read that I need to like hop on, but you know, I'm a big Spider-Man fan and there was a sale at v Sox, so that's why a couple of these are like not like the complete, but you know, I just bought them because they look cool. Uh, the world's tastiest superhero, The Amazing Spider-Man by Slot, Kemu, Kali, Jansen, and D. Armani, Armada. This one I thought looked really interesting too because I think that's Lizard Man on the front. And he's just like biting into Spider-Man. Like, dude's eating them. All right, another Spider-Man. Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, number, I uh, like volume four, by Zdarsky, Kubert, and Belair. Terrible at pronouncing names, but that's what it looks like. That one right there. I'm gonna scoot it back, that way you guys can look at it. Yeah, cover, I mean, you gotta have a, a really interesting cover in order, in order to, you know, sell a comic, so why not show Spider-Man getting his ass beat, making it look like he's not gonna make it. When, you know, I can't say when in reality he is, he is when, because not all comics he makes it, so. How am I gonna drop the GOAT? How am I gonna drop the GOAT of comics? All right, by Tanishi Coates, or Tanishi Coates, or Tahashi Coates, I, Brian Steelfreeze and Nora Martin. Black Panther. Everybody who collects comics, especially Marvel comics, has this. Like, I mean, Come on, this is the basic. This is like the basic one everybody got. If, I mean, if you're not a Black Panther fan, you don't f with Black Panther, then, then then you don't have it. But like, if you f with Black Panther, you got this. But, uh, Fighting Crime Before His Time, Spider-Man 2099. David, Sliney, and Rosenberg. So I think this is volume 10. Yeah, this one here. You know, because it's like Spider-Man 2099. I actually like the Spider-Man 2099 one. He's actually one of my favorite Spider-Mans. My favorite's always gonna be Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man, and then I think it's gonna be 2099 Spider-Man and then Peter Parker, Spider-Man. <sighs> Got another, Finding Crime Before His Time, Spider-Man 2099. Mm. Same artist, and this is number, er, same artists and writers, and this is issue five. I like the artwork on that cover. That actually looked pretty clutch. Okay, right, so I have Batman Battle for the Cow issues one and two by Tony Daniel and Sandu Flora. So I got both volume volume one and then volume two. So yeah, I got did I say that right? Volume one, volume two, yeah. So I got both of them, you know, for the 
for the culture. You know, I had to. I actually read these. This was actually interesting. I definitely would say this was interesting. I wasn't I actually thinking that this was gonna be a little eh reading it, but it's not bad. It really was not bad. I have to look for number three, but overall I if y'all want some new material to read, I recommend these. These like this this series right here. It's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty pretty readable. And I got the new 52 Batman number one. All right, we're getting closer to the graphic novels, so, you know. <laughs> Last Origin, or Order, Ant-Man. This one right here. Um, I don't see the writers on here, but it looks like this is volume one. Part of the Secret Wars, I think. So there's that one right there. I think that I actually thought this was really cool. I'm trying to remember exactly where did I get this from because I'm pretty sure I honestly can't remember exactly where I got this. I'm trying to remember if this was a gift or if I got it from somewhere. I'm not sure, but I think these two were part of a gift. Cause I remember getting this one, I just don't know where. And this the artists are Welks, Bacola, or Bacolo, Royce, Arios, Townsend, and Mendoza. This is the Amazing Spider-Man Shed Part 2. I need to get Part 1, but I just have Part 2. I should have just not gotten this if I would have known that there was no Part 1 around, but I, I, I thought it looked cool, so I was like, you know what? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. These two were gifts from one of my homies. Stop the homie Dennis, you know, because he got these for me for my birthday when I turned, was it 20? When I turned 20. So the Web of Spider-Man, who will wear the webs? Exiled part one of four. Oh, I'll show the front, so I'm just keep looking at it. So it's this one. I thought this was cool. He knows I f with Spider-Man, so he got me like two. So I was like, okay, yeah, why not? This is just one of them. And then this is part three of the four Exiled Spider-Man. Shadows of the Past. It's this one. This looks really good with the uh, Scarlet Spider. Scarlet, yeah, I think that's a Scarlet Spider. All right, and that is all four the comic books so now it's time to get to the graphic novels um so graphic novel time i got the invincible iron man fears itself so i got that one there this actually looks kind of interesting i've read this one i got nightwing on the razor's edge yeah yeah you guys a little bit of artwork. Come on, just put that up there. You go. Know, oh. so yeah, some of that artwork. Look at that. This video is kind of eh. the Invincible Iron Man. There's that one. Let's just see the back real quick. Flip it to the back. Let's kind of figure that. There you go. Not read it, but see it. Oh, shoot. Iron Man Hyper Hyper Velocity. That one. Now flip it so you guys can look at the back there. I haven't read this one. Ooh. Boy, this artwork is really pretty. Look at that artwork. Does that look good? Like, I haven't read it, but I just like opened it and I just got to that page and I'm like, man, this looks really nice. I actually might have to read that. Like, that artwork was beautiful. And I got it because of the cover one. Well, actually, because it was Iron Man 2. Because of the cover, like I thought the cover looked really nice, and I'm like, ooh, this is pretty. Marvel's Dark Avengers, you know, because why not? Do I need to say more? Yes, I do. Am I going to? No, 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 no. no. Last but not least, the Invincible Iron Man Stark Resilent. So, I know this video was not what you entirely were looking for but but i did show you guys my comic book collection and my graphic novel collection there's a lot i haven't read but there's a few that i actually sat down and read and i'm doing such a terrible job at being a youtuber in this video oh my god Alrighty, guys thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe smash that like button turn on post notifications and Follow your boy on Twitter. I got some big stuff coming to this channel. And while you at it, just go ahead and um, just go ahead and subscribe to Pokemon Tanny Six while you at it. Like I mean, you know, 
channel. That's the hottest channel right now besides this one. Um, and then, you know, go ahead and, you know, uh, check out your boy on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the biggest rapper in it. Nah. Alrighty, guys. I'm Afro D Plus Ultra Nappy, and your boy is Sound.